द नेक्स्ट स्पीकर इज के रविंद्र कुमार यू वॉन्ट टू स्पीक टूमोरो फौजिया खान If you are speaking tomorrow, Fauzia Chakhan will speak now. Tomorrow you can speak. You said you will speak tomorrow. No, no. The time is extended beyond six. So. Uh, no, you said you you will speak tomorrow, so I called her tomorrow. Please. Please. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Sir, today the train of Indian democracy is in the hands of the NDA. But it is quite rightly said that driving the train doesn't set its course. The real job is laying the track. And so while the track is laid, the place that is deprived is deprived of development if connectivity doesn't reach that place, sir. I am talking of my own region, which is the Nander Division in Maharashtra. So this comes under the South Central Railways. In the railway budget, the South Central Railways have been allocated rupees 9,125 crores this year, which is an increase of 21% over the last year. However, only a share of rupees 575 crores has been given by them in turn to the Nandir division. Sir, a provision of 2,817 crores for ongoing new railway projects, and there's no provision at all for the Nandir division. All projects are in other divisions except this division, sir. Out of 5,517 5, crores, allocated to the South Central Railways for doubling of lines, so 5,517 crores, only rupees 5 crores have been allocated for the doubling of Akola Dhone Railway line in the Nandir division. So my question is, why is this division constantly neglected? One instance I would like to give you, sir. Purna is a very important junction in this division. Purna's headquarters have been shifted to Nanded proper. 200, 300 acres of land is lying there, unutilized with a lot of buildings there. But a very sad thing that has happened yesterday, South Central Railways has written to CBSC to close down a school which was set up in 1903, a 100-year-old school, sir, which was a, a glorious heritage it had. This school has been uh, decided to shut down. I think this is gross injustice. During recruitment also, uh, the candidates from Nandir division hardly seem visible during the recruitment, sir. Therefore, Nandir division, sir, my request, my appeal, my prayer to you is, Please shift Nandir Division as a separate entity on the lines of Kokan Railways in uh, Maharashtra, or please detach it from South Rent Central Railways and attach it to Central Railways. I think that will solve the injustice. Sir, in my last, last year's speech also, I had, a, I had raised a request about the birthplace of Sri Sai Baba at Patri in the Nandir division again, there's a need for a new railway line as a special pilgrimage train from Aunda Nagnath, Manwat, Patri, Parli Vajnath. All these are important spiritual places. It will be a very good move because so many devotees are there and this would indeed help a lot to this sector, the spiritual sector, sir. Apart from this, New trains must be started from Nandir, Purna, Aurangabad in the Maratwara division to Delhi, Bangalore, Mumbai, Pune, Tirupati, Ahmedabad, and Calcutta. There are many other issues, sir, which I would like to give you. I'll give you in writing in my letter as far as my local area concerns are there. I would also like to 
request you for a cord line at Parbhani, where I live, that's my hometown, the ROR policy is a great hindrance to the development of these remote areas, backward areas, sir. This, this policy needs to be revisited because we will never otherwise develop. So rich areas which have good returns are developed and poor areas remain poor and deprived. A pit line at Aurangabad, sir, you have approved, you have sent me a letter that it will be approved, but the Minister of State says it will be approved in Jalna. So please clarify what exactly we are doing. Will the pit line at Aurangabad be sanctioned or at Jalna or both? Also, sir, a cord line is needed at Parbhani. Such a wastage of money, such a wastage of time is there at such a big junction. Sir, please give me two minutes. Please conclude now. So this cord line must come there, sir. Other issues I'll give you in writing. But I need to speak about a policy decision which there is speculation about, that is the privatization of railways. Sir, your words in the Lok Sabha did provide us relief. You have assured the House that the government is not looking at privatization, but the National Rail Plan seems to be saying otherwise. Because that seems to be fully inclined towards privatization, sir. And I would like to say that, God forbid, if the government has to do it is at some point of time, we must remember that railways are the poor man's mode of transport, and it is used by almost 50% of people. It is important that a citizen from India must travel from one corner to another corner of the nation smoothly, comfortably, and at affordable prices, affordable ways. Yes. Because, sir, affordability and connectivity, I think these two are the most important priorities that should be there. So at the end, I will only say that there is hope. We have hope. Sometimes that light at the end of the tunnel is a train. So let's hope that this train carries us towards development, particularly our deprived Nande division, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, uh, K. Ravindra Kumarji, will you uh, speak today or tomorrow? Will you speak tomorrow? Tomorrow? OK. Now we'll take up uh, the special mentions now. Uh, uh, special mentions can be later.